Today, Science Max is all about balance. Hey, okay. If it's a potato or if it's me, figuring out how things balance is what we're all about. It works really well! Swinging, spinning, and staying put. Today on Science Max Experiments at Large. Hey, this is Sandia and Swapna. No, Sandia and Swapna. Right. And they are going for their PhDs in science. And you guys, thank you for coming. Thank you. Work with Let's Talk Science, right? That's right. All about science education, just like us. And I'm glad you guys are here because I need to max out this. Oh, look at it balance. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Okay, I got it, I got it. It's fine. Good. So we're going to get a gigantic potato? Uh, no, I thought we would use me instead. So you're the potato. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm the potato. We're gonna take our balancing potato experiment and max it out. To get a potato to balance is pretty hard, but if you stick forks in the potato, it works a lot better. In our maxed out version, we're gonna balance on a slack line, which is sort of like a tightrope. It's a flat strap tightened between two points. And in this version, I'm the potato. And instead of sticking giant forks in me, which is not something I wanna try, Sandia, Swapna, and I are going to experiment to see what I can do to improve my balance. So I tried walking the slack line, and I wasn't very good at it. Holding my arms out at my sides seemed to help a little. Then I tried holding some weights to see if that would make any difference, and the weights were so heavy, I couldn't really hold them out very far. Now the plan is to try a long pole. Tightrope walkers use long poles to help them balance. The longer the pole is, the more it affects your center of gravity especially because you can move it up and down to help you stay balanced. Ta-da! Nice! So the important thing on this is, what, the, the balance, right? Yeah, That's you want right. to find the center of gravity of that as well. So, so try and find...